Bookworms. This is me Srinika with an awesome story and it's from the book Best of Mulana Sridhan. Shall we go on to the story now? This week's story is Smell and Sound. This is a classic tale of Mulana Sridhan. Once when Mulana Sridhan was traveling in his donkey from city to city, he, he and his donkey were feeling hungry and tired. So, Mulan Asrudin thought of buying food for himself and his donkey. While he was enjoying his food, he heard some raised voices. It came from the path where he bought the food. Mulan Asrudin was curious to know what was happening. Mulan Asrudin went there to investigate. The shop owner was demanding something from a poor looking traveler. He was telling like, you must pay for what you have done. You just enjoyed my um, smell of, of my cooking. I'm not doing any charity here. Pay, he said. Mulana Susan's heart went for the poor looking traveller who was bullied by the greedy shop owner. How can a smell be stolen? I know, this is ridiculous. How can a poor man pay even though he doesn't have any money. Now Mulan Nasruddin came into action. He asked the poor, poor man, give the coins that you have. The poor man was very sad. He only had five co gold coins, but he had to give them to Mula. The, usually a crowd comes when there's a problem, but the people there were shocked. How can a smart person like Mulan Asrudan be so silly and give all those coins that the poor man has to the greedy shop owner? Then Mulan Asrudan cupped his hands and he told the and he told the shop owner, listen carefully. Then he shook the cup cup of the cup of his palms. Then he asked the uh, then he asked the shop owner. Now, did you hear the jingle of the coins? Yes, I heard it. Now give that money to me, he said. But Mula Nasruddin put all the coins back into the poor man's purse. My max starts here. Mula Nasruddin turned to the shop owner. That's it in accounts. He enjoyed the flavors of your cooking and you enjoyed the sweet jingle of his coins. The the crowd nodded their heads for Mullah Nasruddin's wise judgment. The poor traveller thanked Mullah and left. What is the moral of the story? Treat everybody fairly and honestly. Bye!